Hi, Gimbal Guy here, and I'm back with my unique Q500 Plus versus 3D Robotics solo comparison slash challenge video. In this installment, I will be comparing the multi rotors boot up times and acquired satellites in that time frame, the motor startup times, flight times, and flight characteristics, and also both multi rotors manual landings. So let's jump right in and start by powering up both quads. And as we can see, the Q500 Plus gained a lot more satellites than the Solo by the time the quads were ready to lift off. The Q500 had 19 satellites locked in, while the Solo had 13 satellites locked in. So the Q500 definitely won the satellite lock contest. So we proceed on to the next comparison, which is initializing the motors. And we did this test twice just to be positive. On the first attempt, I pushed both the start buttons simultaneously and the Q500 Plus motors kicked on first. So on the second attempt, I pushed the start motors button first on the Solo, about a second and a half before pushing the Q500 Plus's button. And yet the Q500 Plus still started the motors first. Oh, you started before me, hey. And we still started before you. You push your button maybe three seconds before me. The Q500 Plus definitely won the motor startup challenge. Now taking to the air, both the Q500 Plus and the Solo's response times on full throttle takeoff are pretty much identical. And as far as the flight characteristics, the Solo is a much better aircraft, in my opinion. Not to say the Q500 Plus isn't a good stable platform for film, but the Solo's tight, sharp maneuverability right out of the box makes the unique's rabbit mode take a back seat to the smart drone standards. So the Solo is definitely the better flyer, hands down, in my opinion. Now with the flight time comparison, let me just note, the batteries on the Solo are brand new, while the Q500 Plus has at least 60 plus flights on it. So I believe the Solo should provide a little more punch and discharge just a tad bit slower than a used battery. Well, the Solo had to land and have its battery changed while the Q500 Plus landed, remained on, and took back to the skies while still on the first battery pack. So the Q500 Plus was the winner of the flight time challenge hands down, with the Solo flying approximately 16 minutes, but in the Solo's defense I was doing some aggressive and assertive flying. Q500 Plus still had 11.2 volts remaining on its first battery, which is still a good flight left to spare, so the Q500 Plus really really won the flight time challenge. I mean she knocked this one out of the park. So on to the final comparison on this versus video, the manual landing. Both the Q500 Plus and the Solo descend at about the same rate. The Solo's descent is a tad bit more stable and efficient. And the landing of the Solo is reminiscent of watching an Olympian stick the perfect landing every time. While the Q500 Plus tends to jump and bounce up and down a good three times before finally settling in. I believe this is due to the landing gear which has four points but really only two legs. While the Solo has four true legs which means four separate landing points making contact with the surface absorbing more shock and truly planting its feet as the Solo meets the ground. So overall, the Q500 Plus wins on gaining the most satellites on takeoff. The Q500 Plus wins in starting up the motors first. The Solo, in my opinion, wins as the better flyer, but the Q500 Plus won in the flight time challenge. Then Solo definitely took the cake when it comes to the landing aspect of the comparison. In the compared characteristics in the video, the Q500 Plus wins 3 to Solo's 2. And I say that because the flight characteristics is really user opinion. So eliminating that challenge, the Q500 Plus wins 3 to 1. If you like this comparison video and want to see more, hit the like button and leave a comment to ask any and all questions. And tune in for our Solo Smart Shots video, which will be uploaded soon, featuring maiden flight footage and all Smart Shots, plus aerial footage of the Solo flying on its missions. And I leave you with this landing, the cleanest landing I've seen by a Q500 Plus yet. And it was made by my dad. Couldn't have made this video without you, Butch. Thanks for watching. Safe and happy flying. Gimbal Guy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sweet. Sweet landing.